In today's Madden 21 Tips and Tricks video, we're going to be breaking down how to beat Cover 2 in Madden. Now, um, guys, I got to admit, I didn't come up with this. One of my subscribers actually did, Gains Only. This is a really, really good concept that he ran on me uh, in last night's live stream. Again, I live stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, so if you want to come by, you can check that out. Um, a link is in the description to check that out. Be sure to subscribe so that way you can be notified when we do go live. And for those of you that are just getting into Madden and you're wanting to get better at the game, one of the ways that you can do that is by joining our discord now the discord is kind of like a community hub it's a place where you can get your questions answered you can set up lab partners and you can learn not just from me but from other people as well and gains can break this down a little bit more in the discord but this was just a really good um, a really really good route con concept and it's really really good this year it's been around Madden for years but I wanted to break it down today on the video because I found that I was setting my zone drops at uh, 30 yards um, last in last night's game, and he was still able to complete this. This is a cover two killer. This is absolutely a cover two killer, and you're going to start seeing a lot more cover two because people are realizing in Madden right now that you can run cover two and you can kind of change your zone drop. So we're just going to break this down. Now, you do want to run your bunch or your trips formation to the wide side of the field. That is going to help a ton uh, with this play concept here. So we're just going to be Tampa two, and I'm going to drop, do kind of a standard setup here. This is, this is kind of standard Tampa but two, right? Um, you got your, your deep blue zones. And I've got auto flip on just to make things a little bit more effective here. But what you're going to see, and all the, the only adjustment we're going to make is we're going to take Russell Gage here. We're going to put him on a streak. Now, you can max protect. I personally like to leave the flats on this year. Um, and what you're going to see is Calvin Ridley, literally a 30-yard cloud flat. It's still going to get over it with a nice deep, uh, deep ball over the top. Now, you did see the safety did come over there. That was a little bit of a bad pass lead by me. But what you'll see here is this is a very, very consistent uh, route concept. Literally, right when you cuts the outside, you can literally just throw it over the top of his head, click on, and you're going to swerve catch to the outside and possession catch on the sideline. This is a very good route concept because one of the things that this is going to allow for your opponent is he's not really going to be able to run cover two on you. Um, and I'm telling you right now, you're going to see a lot more, uh, a lot more cover two uh, with the way the meta is going to start shaping up. So literally, if they press out of cover two, you're going to see this is very, very simple. We're, we're just man line pressing. And this is absolutely going to dot it over the top. Now, timing is everything with this route. Um, and, and, and literally what you want to make sure you're doing is stepping up into the pocket, making a quality. Um, and again, if it's not there, you can click, you can click it down to the flat. There's, there's no reason you can't. Now, if the cornerbacks are backed off, typically this will um, be a little bit more difficult to complete. But when they're pressed up like this, and a lot of people like to run press coverage because of the way that it plays in man, you're going to be able to consistently just kill them uh, with this route. And again, it's a swerve catch on the sideline that really opens this up. Now, against cover three, what you have is you've got this um, little flood concept on the right side. Now, these routes to the running back are back in Madden 21. They're really, really effective this year. If they run, um, if they run a lot of cover three, that was a curl flat zone, and that curl flat zone um, is shaded down at five yards, or zone dropped at five yards. We're going to show you if they're running their flats and they're running it like I was just showing you out of Tampa two. You're going to be able to complete this route to Todd Gurley all day. So you've got a lot of really really good reads, and this uh, sh this streak to Russell Gage here is absolutely critical. Now, if they uh, let's say they run cover two man, this play is not the best against man to man. Um, it's not the best against man to man, but motioning out is is fairly effective. But you also, if you take a look here uh, in man to man coverage, one of the things that I really like out of the Anna playbook, out of this corner strike play, this little quick throw of the back is is back this year. I mean, you can literally rat catch that up and be able to move the ball fairly effectively against your opponent. One other little trick that you can do against man is you can smart route a hitch route, literally just smart route Russell Gage on any hitch. And you're going to see here, I'm just going to low ball, hit, low ball it, and as long as the defensive lineman doesn't jump up and swap the ball, um, you're going to be able to complete this at a really high rate. So these are some route combinations this year that are actually very, very effective. It's almost Madden 17-esque uh, um, with the way the bunch is working out this year. Uh, bunch is certainly one of the better offenses in the game, and we're actually going to be giving you guys a free uh, full scheme from the gun bunch from the Atlanta playbook, um, which which is what I'm working on uh, under the radar right here that we're going to be able to release to you guys for free. But again, with this press coverage lineup, one of the things that I like to do is I like to literally just lowball these hitches, and you'll see right there, 
those low ball hitches just do so good against man to man. So you're able to be man, you're able to be zone. And I'm telling you this cover two beater, the reason it's so good is because it's such a deep route. And one of the things that I even like to do is, is I'll smart route the route. And what you'll see is this cover two, you're either gonna be able to hit this flat or you're gonna be able to hit that over the top. Now, typically you're gonna be able to hit it over the top better if they press coverage out of Tampa too. That's just kind of a rule of thumb that I have. Um, by putting Russell Gage on the streak, it's gonna pull that, uh, that deep zone into the middle of the field and you're just gonna be able to throw it right over that corner's uh, head for a nice 30 yard uh, absolute dot against cover two. Now on the left side with the C route, you're not gonna have the same amount of fortune. What you're gonna find with the C route here is when he cuts the outside, the, the corner is gonna play it. So one of the things that I've started doing in Madden 21 is either putting this guy on a couple different routes. The one that I like the most right now is the smart routed in route. And the reason I like the smart routed in route is because what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a high low read in Tampa 2 that really, really forces the issue because now you can high point these, um, you can high point those uh, in routes against that middle zone and it's really gonna do a good job against a lot of what the defense has to do. So anyways guys, that is today's uh, quick tip. Uh, for Madden 21, just wanted to get this out here to you guys and show you some of the that really um, I've learned from Gaines. I mean, Gaines is a really good bunch player. If you haven't seen him play, come by my stream anytime. We typically lock in once every now and then. Um, but guys, if you want to get better, again, you got to admit that you're not the best player in the world. Um, I'm not the best player in the world. You're probably not the best player in the world either. But the way you become the best player in the world is by learning not just from yourself, but by learning from other people as well. And that's why our Discord community is so important. So I want to encourage you, if you haven't already, be sure to join the Discord. A link is in the description of this video and make sure to subscribe so that way you can be notified whenever we post a new video. We post four times a day here on our YouTube channel and we also stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Some more tip videos that are going to come on the screen here in just a second. But thank you guys so much for your time and we will see you guys tonight.